In this module, we will be discussing the different methods that we apply to describe our data. Since we already know when we collect data, we want to apply certain statistical methods which are divided into descriptive statistics and inferential statistical methods. In this module, our major focus is going towards the description of the data using descriptive methods. Let's look at this exemplary data where we have obtained the age, sex, IgM, IgA, and IgG, and lastly, the status of different respondents. We have organized this data as a grid of rows and columns where these columns are defined as the variables and the rows are defined as the cases. Over here, our each and every variable has different characteristics. Like if we look at the variable age, age is a quantitative variable that is measured on a ratio scale. Sex is a categorical variable which has two attributes, male and female. IgM, IgA, and IgG. All these three variables are quantitative variables, whereas the last variable status is also a categorical variable. For both the categorical variable that is sex and status, these variables are measured on nominal scale of measurement. Whereas age, IgM, IgA, and IgG, all these four variables are measured on ratio scale of measurement. All these variables, when it comes to the description of the data or describing of the data, we treat them differently. So when we have to describe our data, there are some numerical methods as well as there are graphical methods. In numerical method, we use tabulation. We organize our data in the form of tables and there are different summary measures. We will be looking at the tabulation and classification methods in this module and graphical methods and summary measures will proceed after. Whenever we want to organize our data, the very first step we take is that we order our data into an ordered array. Where ordered array is the listing of the values of a collection. That collection could be either from sample or population. But our goal is that we want to order in terms of magnitude from smallest value first till the largest value. Let's take an example. In our data that we discussed previously, we have age of respondents, which are seven years, six years, seven years, eight years, 22 years, and it goes on. If we want to arrange this data into an ordered array, we will firstly locate the minimum observation and in this data, the minimum observation is six. So we will note down six as the first value. Then it comes seven. We will note down seven, seven again. And how many times ever the seven came, we will note it down, keeping the order of these values. Then it comes eight and eight comes twice. Then it comes nine, and nine also comes twice. So we will note them down. And then comes 10, and lastly, it is 22. To describe our data into a tabulation, the first thing that we created is an ordered array. Once we obtain the ordered array, we want to arrange our data into a tabular form and the most common way to arrange our data into a tabular form is a frequency distribution. Frequency distribution is a method that we use to organize our raw data into tabular form using two important components of it. The first component is class and the second component is class frequency. Class is a quantitative or a qualitative category, depending upon the nature of our variables. Whereas a class frequency is the number of data values contained 
in a specific class. This helps us to describe that in each category, how many observations are there. Moreover, it also helps us to, dis to distribute our data according to its groups, its categories. In the later modules, we will be looking at how we treat each variable given in our data and construct a frequency distribution out of it. Thank you.